Hey PKers, how are you? So today I just want to celebrate my, my uh, 50 subs mark. I'm, I'm very, very appreciative of all my fans, of all you guys who um, helped me get to this milestone. I will be making more videos, obviously for the foreseeable future, but I just wanted to say thank you. And I have a special unboxing video for this moment. Plus, that, that giveaway that, that, that I was talking about, that is now actually up and running. Like 100%. I'll even post a link up over there for the giveaway. And um, since I got 50 subscribers, it's, it's now 100%. So, yeah. Um, if anybody wants to post within the next couple of days or the next couple of weeks about that if you if you want the thing that I subscribed not subscribed sorry that I uh, put in the video for that then go for it but otherwise I will put that video up there so if you want either or either of the two things just go ahead and um, watch that video and, and comment below. Otherwise, thanks again. Ah! Hey guys, this is Robley PK here. And today I have something really, really special for you. Don't mind my bags. They're actually um, there because there's stuff in them. Because that's the stuff that's the really special stuff. Okay, so I got something that I normally don't get that's not it sorry that I normally don't get that I normally don't show on this channel because it's a little bit more expensive than what I'm what I'm used to so here's the thing I got a I know I know it's it's not a normal version but it's what I could afford for right now. And it's pretty darn equivalent. As it says on the box, it says a Nintendo Switch. But it's actually the light version. Now, they may not be as popular as regular Switches. And I know a lot of people say that they have a Switch already. So it's, it's not like new news, so to speak. They're not like the new trend or the new thing or whatever. And a lot of other people have got them. But now I got one. And I'm going to do an unboxing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So let's find out what's in this thing. Shall we? As normal Nintendo products... They like to make a lot of little inserts and folds and different things, which is totally fine, you know. And I like the box itself. It, it's got a red, red Nintendo sign, and, and it is black, or they call it gray. It's not black, it's gray. The blue or blue-green, they call turquoise. The... I think they call it Rose Red on the Nintendo 3DS. They now call Coral. So it's a coral color, not a rose red. But there's a reason for that because the coral is more pinkish from what I understand. I got to see pictures of it online. It is more pinkish. So it's not it's not a uh, solid darker red like the Nintendo 3DS it is a more of a rose red slash pinkish just so you know just so you know from what I understand from them and then they have a yellow and a green and obviously online you can go ahead and you, there's probably a whole plethora of other colors you know, a rainbow of other colors, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so, anyways, 
back to the unboxing. I know I got a little off topic, but you know, back to the unboxing. So now I have the stuff out of here. That's this stuff. And there's nothing in the box, as you can see here, other than maybe my head. Hello! No, just kidding. And there's instructions slash uh, warnings in three different languages on the side of the box. It also said it includes the Nintendo Switch Lite system and the Nintendo Switch adapter. So that's the two things on the side of the box here that says it includes. So I'm not going to be surprised if that's the only thing I get. But I'm sure there's probably an instruction booklet or something like that. Okay, so this is a cute little thing. That's what the Nintendo Switch, the, the black or gray version looks like. It's got the Nintendo Switch on the back, and these are light. The reason why they are light and not the regular Nintendo Switch is because, like, if you try to take these Joy-Cons off, you'll actually break the device. Do you want my head to explode? See, I can't take them off. There's no moving them, there's no nothing. They're attached. That's the only difference from what I understand. Obviously, you can't put them on the TV because you can't take the Joy-Cons off, so you can't put them on the other console piece. So that's, it's not a sig significant difference, mind you. But then it basically turns the system into a handheld. And that's it. There, there's no TV aspect of it. There's no nothing. But I'm okay with that because, honestly, I have my computer, and I can do a lot more with my computer than I ever could with a Nintendo Switch. So, being that it's a handheld, it basically just looks like a PS Vita or something like that. I mean, it still kind of sucks that it's not an actual Nintendo Switch, but... Maybe down the line. We'll see. If I like this, maybe I'll splurge for a bigger one. And then I'll probably put it on YouTube. Ha! <laughs> okay. So, besides that, I got health and safety information and usage guidelines. So, it's basically a warning sheet. So, it's going to have a whole bunch of warnings and attention. This is what's happening. That's what's happening. Blah, blah, blah. Warning, repetitive motion, injuries, and eye strain. Caution, motion sickness. Warning, electric shock. It's all good, fun stuff that basically will scare the living bejesus out of you. Just saying. I think this is the basic pamphlet that comes with every Nintendo products. They're basically saying, if you get this and you play it for long hours at a time, Without sleep, you may develop eye strain. If your if your system is screwy and has problems with it and is not working properly, you may develop electric shock. If your system what's the other one? Oh, and then they talk about seizures. So avoid blinking lights. Other than that, um <clears throat> my voice is out of whack. Cool. Other than that, I mean, I wouldn't say avoid it. You can read through it, but it's more information for you. <coughs> it's more information for you for the long haul or if you don't know about certain specific things. So Nintendo doesn't have to get into a lawsuit with you over those things. Plus, then they cover them, so it's for your safety as well. So it's, it's a good thing to have. It's just most people disregard them because they've seen them in other Nintendo products before. Ooh! This is the first time I've seen this. And this is a good thing. Basically says, now I can use a USB-C for my Nintendo Switch. Because that's exactly the type of plug-in I got. It's a USB-C. So, um, now I have a reason for a USB-C adapter. 
Yes. Yes. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try to plug this in. So I'll pause it for a little bit, guys. Sorry. I'll. Sorry again. I'll pause it for a little bit, so um, I can get it hooked up to the wall, and then I could probably just show you a little bit of gameplay. As far as a review for the actual system, I'd say it's pretty bland, but it's not bad, mind you. I did pick out the black today. I had picked out a turquoise one, but there was an issue at Walmart, and yeah. I don't really want to relive that one. Anyways, besides that conversation, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to put my charger into the wall, and I'm going to power up the Nintendo Switch, and I'll see if there's any, I don't know what they call them, apps, programs, games? probably games yeah on there to start out with I know the um, eShop the Nintendo eShop has a free section so yeah but besides that point I don't know I've never actually explored it because this is actually literally the first time and or day mark that date 11 9 that's the first day I got my Nintendo Switch Lite. Not that you guys actually have to, but... Anyways, yeah. So I'm going to pause this, and I'll get back to you in a moment's notice. See you soon. Okay, so I'm on pause. I don't have the charger into the wall, because it didn't reach for some odd reason. But anyways, I did turn it on. This is what the screen looks like. Okay, you can't see it. Okay. Now, well, let's see here. Um, How do I do this? Okay, basically I'll tell you what it looks like because it doesn't seem like, um, okay, there we go. So as you can see, um, it's got quite a backlight. It's got a screen right here, if I flip it kind of this way, that has an English thing on it. So, plus it's got a bunch of other ones. It's got... Francois, which is French, it's got Dutch, it's got Espanol, which is Spanish, it's got Italiano, which is Italian, Netherlands, I believe that's the Netherlands, but Deutsch is German, so yeah, um, it's got Portuguese, so Portuguese, it's got, no, I, I, I want to retour, um, it's got P Y C K N N with backwards N and then a little thing. That's Russian. It's got um I'm guessing Chinese. And it's got two things that look almost exactly alike. I don't know. And then it's got something I think maybe Israeli. So yeah, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And, and it's smart because they put them in the native language. So, there we go. Got it. Okay, so this is what it looks like right here. I'm going to accept it. I'm going to go next. And we'll, get, we'll try to get through all this fun stuff there. Okay, you, you guys can't see my password, obviously. So, you get to look at my blanket. One eternity later. And then it pops up with this. So, it said, um, error code 2110-2215, unable to connect to network device. The wireless signal strength may be poor or the password may be incorrect. Try again and still connect. connect. Check the settings. So I'll go close, and we'll re-enter the password. It actually says that it's successfully connected. And then it, it goes to the time zone. There's a time zone. Okay, so I want to go to... It is 1.31 in the morning. I'm going through all of these. I don't know. Um, it will say Chicago. I don't know for sure. And then it says... A user will be added to the console. Go next. I'll just start a new user. Okay, so guys, this is what the screen looks like. 
and you can either choose create new user which is the top one or import user data from another console so in this case I think to be on the safe side I'll just create a new user you have several people to choose from those are your avatars or your pictures I think well there's Samus Aran there's a Pikmin Ganondorf I don't want to be him that's Princess Zelda Donkey Kong I'm gonna go more options character me okay holy mother okay so these are literally all your options right here do they have link I wonder if they have link in here now they have a link ooh skyward sword link oh, I like that he's all cool looking okay my background is going to okay I'm gonna I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a solid red background ooh that looks really cool okay so obviously you can pick from the normal things as you saw before and then you just pick a random character with a random background boom but the characters are already hand selected I think you can go back later I would imagine you probably could and change it out but this is your um, custom character selection screen and it's not so custom it's based on all the Nintendo characters but I'm gonna click OK for that I'm gonna call it as always not dollar sign I'm gonna call it Robly P and ta-da my new user is Robly PK the users added to the console and I am now on the Nintendo switch I can link a Nintendo account I'm gonna go later for time purposes um, I can add another user additional users can be added if this console is to be used by more than one person nope okay so it says more games more features more fun online okay so obviously it's blurred out a little bit as you can see hi mister hand how are you Let's see if I can get it unblurred there we go it's, it's better now but anyways it says the Nintendo Switch Online and then it says underneath the Nintendo Switch Online it's got Mario and Luigi for the first one. It's got two old school, um, uh, the old school NES Nintendo Entertainment System consoles, the the square ones that used to be. You guys can look those up online. They're actually really cool. And then it's got. A uh, cloud with arrows up and down. It's got a toad. Well, it's toad, short for toadstool. But it's got a, a toad with a smartphone. Because why not? You know, toads got smartphones. No, I guess. And then um, it's got a mystery block that Mario us usually jumps under and reveals whatever's inside of it. Usually they got coins in them. But, anyways. It says Nintendo Switch Online is a paid service that allows you to enjoy online play with the Nintendo Switch console and use the Save Data Cloud service. Check Nintendo eShop for more information. Okay, what the service includes, it's online play, Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, it's Nintendo Switch Online. It says enjoy a variety of classic games originally released for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So that's the original console that Nintendo actually put out. That's the one with the little square controllers that you originally saw. So it's probably going to be emulated, but it's it's through their actual system. So it'll basically be like you're playing on an NES, but not so much. The save data cloud, that's just backing up save data. It says avoid losing save data, even if the console is damaged. So it just saves to the cloud. And then there's a smartphone app. Use a dedicated smartphone app that makes online play even more enjoyable. So basically, I believe the smartphone app just um, either gives you guides or does something else. Then there's parental controls if you want to configure them. You'll just touch that and you'll go ahead and 
configure those from there. I'm not a parent, so, and I don't have kids right now, so I'm not going to configure that. Plus, it also helps to save a little bit of time for you guys. So, it says the setup is now complete. I have to press the home button and uh, to open the home menu. So, I think from here, oh, I have to actually press the home button. Okay, so, here we go. There we go. Okay, so here's a game screen. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I'm going to see if I can eShop. Press A. Yep, it'll be me using the eShop. Um, it's going to be me. Hello. So the eShop has to have a Nintendo account. So for now, I can't use the Nintendo store. Um, I don't have an album. Okay, so I can go to news. So, the latest Nintendo news direct me to your Nintendo Switch. So, this is news you can get. You can get, there's a Nintendo eShop. There's news has received an update, so that's your updates. This is screenshots. Whoops. Not that. Uh, that right there is screenshots with the little guy with, you know, it's taking screenshots and videos. So you can actually take videos of your games and stuff like that. And then you can, I think, if an SD card is inserted, you can put that into your computer and you can upload them to YouTube. So if you want to only make um, Nintendo Switch games, I would imagine you probably wouldn't. You're probably going to make other games too. Seeing as then that would be considered a gaming channel. But if you only want to make Nintendo Switch games, this right here, the screenshots and the videos would be your friend. That's that's just like um, Google's a friend for IT technicians or IT people. That would be your friend right there. So I would cherish that um, if if that's what you're going to do for your channel. Like, if you're going to do a lot of Nintendo Switch videos, then that's going to be your friend. Um, this is, uh, it looks like a quick intro to quick settings. So it looks like there's just tips there. Okay, quick settings. Yeah. There's tips about how to adjust screen brightness, turn airplane, airplane mode on and off. Okay, so... <clears throat> This is about setting a play timer. So you can have your kids, if you have them, uh, play for a certain time, and then I would imagine it shuts off. Um, this is for questions about the Nintendo Switch. So it looks like there's just articles in here, and you can go and you can't click on that. Okay, so that's the link. To go to for questions and comments and other things for the Nintendo Switch. Um, otherwise, I guess there's a lot of articles and things in here. And there's this first one that I got. So I can say, oh yeah, well that's great. And they'll say, thank you for your feedback. So that's kind of all I got for now. Um... Controllers, change grip or order, find controllers, pairing new controllers, close. Okay, so I'm going to find new controllers. There's no searchable controllers. Pairing new controllers. Okay, so that's teaching you if you have a Nintendo Switch, you're going to pair the controllers with the device. Obviously, I don't have to because I have a light. So that's up to you guys. If you have the actual Nintendo Switch, this is for system settings. Airplane mode, screen brightness, screen lock, parental controls, etc., etc. You guys can um, get into those and figure them out. Um, sorry, I'm switching back to my face. Okay, guys. So I'm back. So as you can see, the Nintendo Switch Lite, I don't know how it differs from the Nintendo Switch other than 
I think there's more colors. There's obviously the separation of the joy con uh, the, they call them joy cons. It stands for joy controllers. There's obviously that separation because then it plugs into a different console and that plugs into the TV. So basically with the switch light you're limited to the console itself but as I showed you it's got a pretty darn big screen. So you're limited to a certain point. Quite frankly, I mean, there are ways to get around that. How? I haven't figured that out yet. But in every gaming situation, there's always loopholes to everything. In any te technological situation, always loopholes. Just remember that, guys. Always loopholes. So if you're worried that, oh, well, I, I have a Nintendo Switch Lite, I can't get around that, I can't put it on TV. Okay, so maybe you take the SD card out and you find, I don't know, maybe an emulator or something like that, and you play that on your TV. It probably won't be a Switch game, it'll probably be something else, but there's always ways to get around it. Obviously, if it's illegal, don't do it, but... You know, there's always loopholes to everything. So, anyways, beyond that, so far, even though I don't have any games and, and I do have to link an actual account with Nintendo, I do believe I have an actual account, actually. Oddly enough. But I do have to link an account with Nintendo. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to waste any more time. I'll show you guys probably in the next video or the following maybe um, my progress to this because I would like to actually show you my like an actual review of like the actual games and stuff that would be cool from my understanding Animal Crossing New Horizons is like beyond a doubt awesome it's also apparently addicting but that's beside the point. You know those those uh those uh those uh warnings on on bottle cap saying that specific things are addicting. Yeah, apparently that's an addicting game. Why? Because you can spend hours and hours building things. And they have a crafting mode. So, yeah. I know this because um I've seen other reviews from Jack Septicai. Yeah, he's a YouTuber on YouTube. Really, really does good videos. But he was doing New Horizons and PewDiePie, obviously. Just about everybody knows him. He's also a YouTuber on YouTube that I watch. Sometimes, here and there, you know. But anyways, um, so I'm going to round this up and call it good for today. I just wanted to show you my new Nintendo Switch Lite, only available at Walmart, if you can get one. Otherwise, Walmart.com or Amazon. Amazon's always got switches and switch lights and every other console under the sun because it's Amazon, you know. It's it's kind of like the seventh heaven for every product ever imagined. So, anyways, yeah. You can't find it on um, walmart.com or at your local Walmart, Walmart store if you have a local one. Go to Amazon or eBay sometimes. Sometimes eBay has stuff too. They might actually have a Switch. It might be cheaper. I don't know. Switches are in all sorts of different levels. Usually the Nintendo Switch Lite is anywhere from $199 to $299 depending on how much it gets bought out. I know right now um, they have these in specific colors. I think they're turquoise, yellow, and gray or black. I don't know what the yellow one's called. Probably a, I don't know. I can't guess anything other than yellow. Maybe an eggshell or something. But um, that's what they have them in now. A turquoise, yellow, and a gray or a black. Same color, just 
different thing, you know. But, um, yeah. So you can go with it come and you can purchase it and you should be able to get it delivered to your um, area Walmart. Other than that, I can tell you your local Walmart if it has it and Amazon will almost always have it. Varying prices obviously because it depends on supply and demand but those three. I can give you a link to one of them but I can't guarantee it's going to have it because of the large number of people who are still buying them. So yeah. Just remember that. Get your hands on one today because they might be gone tomorrow. Okay. I got to go guys. My video is already at 43 minutes and counting. So I will catch all you dudes and dudettes on another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Especially subscribe. And click that notification bell. And other than that, I will catch all you dudes and dudettes on the flip side. See you later. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>